G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to review a pretty cool little RC helicopter here that I picked up from AliExpress. I believe this one only cost me around $30 Australian, so I'd say that'd be around $20 US. So yeah, I was browsing AliExpress and this one caught my eye uh, because it looks pretty much like the Esheen E110 that I reviewed earlier this year. Uh, it's based on the Black Hornet military style spy drone helicopter. And as you can see, this one's called the Black Ant, and it's a three and a half channel RC helicopter. So what actually uh, makes this one pretty cool is that the main feature of this one is that it has obstacle avoidance. So I thought I'll give it a go, test it out on the channel for you guys to see. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to see how good it is for the price, as well as uh, see how that obstacle avoidance uh, system works. Now... I've got the army green one. It looks like you can get it in this silver as well. And on the back of the box, we got a blue one here. So, uh, yeah, let's check out uh, the contents of the box, guys, before I take it out. And uh, we'll take it for a flight and see how it goes. Okay, guys, let's have a really quick look of what we get in the box before I take it for a flight test. First off, we get the USB to micro USB charger cable to charge up the internal LiPo and the chopper here. Couple of extra spare props. We have a user manual here. It just consists of two pages. It's a leaflet in English and Chinese. Got a bit of uh, information about all the buttons on the remote. All right, and some cautions there. We have a transmitter here. Now, I believe this can come in a infrared model and a 2.4 gigahertz model. I've got the 2.4 gigahertz model, which I think is a better choice. Uh, you'd be able to fly this one outdoors and we've just got a very simple button layout here uh, throttle on the left only but the uh, right stick is your forward and back pitch as well as a yaw so we've got a yaw on this one being a three and a half channel a couple of trimmer buttons just here left and right the on and off switches on the bottom here this does take three AAA batteries of which i've already installed up and down to bind and as you can see the red light is uh, solid once you bound it. This button here, uh, because this actual chopper has altitude hold, we've got a one key and take off landing. Okay, and if you hold this one down, it will actually uh, act as an emergency stop button and the chopper will just cut all power and fall out of the sky in an emergency. And we've got a high and low speed switch. You can hear two beeps there and one beep there. So low and high. So here is the little chopper guys, looks pretty cool. It looks very much like the uh, Black Hornet and the Esheen E110 spy drone helicopters. Okay, we've got helicopter written on the side here, as well as the model number, which is also known as the CZ-02. And uh, as I showed, it's called the Black Ant. On the front here, we have the uh, LED light, as well as the infrared sensor. So once you... Uh, get close to a wall or an object it's supposed to just automatically turn around on its axis and face the other way got some landing legs here to stick that landing so that's pretty cool i've uh, got a little brush motor on the back here for the tail rotor as well as this very simple double prop design with a fly bar which you see on most toy grade and budget rc helicopters now on the bottom here is your micro usb port to charge up the internal battery as well as that tiny little on and off switch there that little yellow switch and the 220 milliamp hour lipo is just underneath that little hatch there all right so it's 220 milliamp hours good for 10 minutes of flight time that they're stating all right and you just pop that back on so anyway guys let's take it for a flight test i'm pretty keen to see how the obstacle avoidance feature works on this one especially for a 20 dollar us helicopter should be pretty cool if it does work uh, as it should and we'll see what sort of flight time we get out of this little chopper as well so they'll be coming up next all right guys we've got the cz02 the black ant obstacle avoidance helicopter here i'm just going to test it out in the front garage here because uh, we're out of the wind so i'm going to turn it on we've got the led light flashing got the transmitter on up and down to bind as you can see solid lights and let's uh, take it up for a quick flight. Now to start the helicopter, we're gonna press that top button there, that's the auto takeoff button. This does have altitude hold. 
Okay, so your left stick only controls the up and down throttle, and the right stick is forward, back, and the yaw. All right, so first off, just uh, go towards this door. See yeah, if it turns around. There you go, it turned around by itself. Whoa! Okay, put it back up in the air. Okay, you really want to fly these indoors. So you just turned around by itself, bring it towards us. And it just turns around when it sees something in front of it. So it's pretty cool. That's in rate one. I'll put in, actually this is in rate one. Let me just check. Rate one, rate two. So we're in rate two now. It's pretty nimble. Takes a little while to get used to the yaw being on the right stick instead of the left. The left only controls the up and down movement. And then you got the forward, back pitch, and the yaw axis is on the right. Ah, uh, yeah, on the right. <laughs> All right, so. Bring it in front of me here. And it turned away from me. This would be a pretty good one for your kids. You're not gonna hit anyone with this one. Just go in the corner here towards the wall. I'll try to bring it back this way, get away from that pipe. Let's bring it over here. Again. Slowly go towards the wall here. See, it turned around. Whoop, I'm gonna bring it this way. So it does detect what's in front of it, see? Pretty cool. Now we can land this automatically. I'll bring it a bit closer to me. Just here. Press that button once, and it lands. All right, so to take off, you can do it manually as well. Like I said, it's got altitude hold. Put in rate one. It's a little bit slower. Rate two, as you can see the yaw, it's a little bit faster in rate two. Rate two now, and it goes a little bit quicker. So, pretty cool toy helicopter. Good one for your kids, I reckon. Now that Christmas is approaching. Like I said, in the overview, I paid about uh, 30 bucks for this on AliExpress. And it's got the obstacle avoidance that actually works. Works rather well, actually. And you can see the tail rotor only works when you go forward or back. See how it stops spinning? Bring it down a bit. Go towards this wall here. Any bit of wind does affect it. I better bring it down this way actually. Uh, I did try flying this outdoors yesterday and uh, yeah, any little bit of wind does affect it. So I don't recommend flying this outdoors, even in a light breeze. Whoa, there we go. I pitched uh, pretty heavy into that wall. So I'll get in front of it. There we go. Do that again. Get in front of it. 
and it moves away. So it works rather well. It works from that distance. So I'd say about half a foot, it starts to detect whatever's in front of it. Let's just uh, fly it around. Whoa! I don't know if that was battery going flat. I think it might be going flat. Oh, we'll see. Take it up again. Get some sort of flight time. Uh, it looks like the battery's not flat. Maybe those inputs that I was putting in was a little bit too aggressive. It does have altitude hold. I think it is trying to land now actually. I think it may be going flat. We've got a light flashing. Yeah, so it's in the LVC now, guys. So there's the flight time of the little Black Ant CZ-02 helicopter. I think it's a pretty decent toy, actually, uh, considering that the uh, obstacle avoidance sensor does actually work quite well. As you can see, it was bouncing off the wall there, and even when I was in front of it, it was turning around. So I'd say there's about half a foot before it starts turning around when you're about this far away from the object. There you have it guys, quick uh, review on the little black ant helicopter. I'll leave links to where I got it from AliExpress in the description below. I just thought I'll try it out uh, because I don't think there's any reviews on this one on YouTube as yet. So yeah, overall I think this would be a great inexpensive stocking stuffer. A great gift for Christmas uh, for your young kids. Now they do state 14 plus on the box, I'd say. You know, even younger ones can even have a go at this. You know, 10 year olds, I think, would be able to fly this, not a problem. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you on the next video.